I'm going to take my cord, I'm going to put the first one through, and then I'm going to do the exact same thing to our black wire. Oh, fun times. So now we'll take both of our cables, and they'll both go right down through our grommeted hole. See how much fun that was? Oh! After all that, I forgot to do this. And welcome back to DIY Van Build. So today, we were talking about our solar panels that we did last week and how we hooked these up. So if you remember, I showed you what it looked like. A lot putting this junction box in and everything. But unfortunately, I wasn't being forward thinking, thinking enough. When I installed this, there's only two prongs, or two holes, sorry, for the wires to go into. Today, we are gonna hook up our solar panels in parallel. This is just basically showing you how our van is gonna be set up. So first thing we have are these branch connectors. So we have three packs of them, and they come with two separate branch connectors in each. We have two female plugs coming in, and a male plug going out, and we have two male plugs coming in, and one female plug going out. So basically what that is, is you have your positive one and your negative. So next, after we have the Y connectors, we're gonna need our positive cable and our negative cable, which is our 10 gauge solar cable, which is made for being on top of your roof. Now to mount these wires down through the roof of the van, we're gonna need a waterproof enclosure. So originally, I just went with one of these. Easy peasy, you can have two wires easily down through the roof of that van. Now myself, I've gone to an enclosure like this. Completely sealed when you buy them, and basically you're gonna have to put your own holes into the system and add your own seal nuts, which come looking like this. And basically you get all different sizes of them depending on the size of your wire that you're gonna to wanna to put down through your enclosure. You are gonna need that if you go with the special enclosure. If you do go with this on the other hand, it does come with the two that already fit solar panels because that's what they're made for. You're also gonna need a rubber grommet. So this rubber grommet I bought there for a PCV valve off of a car. It's just a simple grommet that's gonna be big enough for our wires to go down through. And with all that, we can now get on top of the roof. All right, so here we go. So what we brought up, we have our negative and our positive Y connectors. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up our first two solar panels. Let's untwist these real quick. We really got those on it, right? Too far and I'm starting to twist it back up again. <laughs> the exact same thing. You stupid thing. Wow. What did they do? <laughs> it's really, really awkward. Here, just word to the wise. Take this off before you get it on top of your vehicle. Cause this is stupid. There we go. Alright. So they do clearly label them on these solar panels. The positive clearly has a plus sign on it and your negative clearly has a minus sign on it. So with our male fitting, it simply plugs into our female fitting. Bear with me, this is my first time too. It's gonna be stiff, I think, cause it's got a rubber seal in there, right? So it's gonna be pretty stiff, I think, yeah. going in. There it goes. So that one's hooked to positive. So I'm gonna take the positive from our second panel, and we're gonna plug that one right into the second Y connector. <sighs> They're not messing around though, let me tell you, they're tight. There it is. So that'll go that way. I wonder, huh, that's interesting. Whoa. This ladder just gave out. Whoa. Hold on, okay, hold on, holy shit. Step onto mine. Holy shit. That ladder totally just gave out. Holy crap. I just about died right there. I know I'm exactly just what like, you're thinking. Is yeah. that gonna reach? You're on the same page as me, aren't you? Interesting. It should work. It's supposed to work. Okay. Well, now we're going to do the same with the negatives. So I'm going to take this time the male ended Y adapter and go minus sign to minus sign. That one goes in way easier than the positive did. Like night and day on that one. Absolutely. Interesting. Huge. We're move down and go do the second pair of solar panels. You think with all the planning you did, that would have been thought of, eh? I'm gonna take this one. Oh yeah, buddy. It'll reach. Yep. Crazy. Yep. 
Oh, you guys can't see that, damn it. I, ah. Okay, so I could have done this from back there, but I'm doing this so you can see what we're doing. So we're removing our ladders again. Just waiting for Curtis to get up here. I wish I could share more of these details with you, but maybe one day when the van build's done, we'll come back to the other footage we got. Okay, so come here. We're gonna lift these two, the two middle panels up now. What that's gonna do, it's gonna let me hook up our last, it's already did one, but it's gonna let us hook up our last Y connector, which is what's making all four of these panels become one. So we have our negative from these two panels here. Just gonna plug in right there. That was way easy. Then we have our second one, which is way over here, and we literally just have enough reach for it. Like, just. Oh, look at that. It's like it's planned, it's so tight. Okay, which is good. We don't have to worry about the wires moving around it all up right here, underneath here. And now, we have two connections left, which is our male and our female from all of our cables being hooked together underneath. So the red one will be our positive. And our black one will be our negative. And I'll clean those wires up so that we can put these panels back down. Okay, now. On the positive, I did take some black electrical tape and tape this off because there is potential that these panels could actually pull some power, just like they would on a cloudy day. So now we're gonna bring this back up to the front and you'll see this. This is safety as its finest right here, peeps. You go up over one ladder, you get to the next ladder, and then Curtis follows me up on that ladder. Is that enough conversations about ladders for you? So now from the front, you'll see I already got one hole uh, drilled in. So I am a little limited. I'm going to set this down on top, and then I'm gonna go underneath the van. And I'm just gonna outline that circle on the bottom of our enclosure. So I'm gonna take it to the garage. I'm just gonna pre-drill a quick little hole in the center. And then I'm gonna use our step bit and go to the one inch, just like that. Now, I'm just gonna do the exact same thing right beside it because I want a second hole. And there we go, with two holes in the bottom of our enclosure. Now, I need to make two holes so our solar panel plugs will fit inside of it. And with that all finished, and ready, mark out our second hole, drill a pilot hole. Now with our step bit, we drill another hole. Scuff it up real good, mark the position. We prime the mounting spot on the body. We prime the mounting spot on the box. We put our urethane adhesive on the box. And then of course, we stick it down. And once our urethane adhesive is dried, we use our lapping compound and seal it up just like everything else. And how good did that end up looking, eh? Check it out. So now, I'm gonna take our little rubber grommets, I'm gonna push them down into our holes, make sure they fit nice and tight. Oh yeah, see, look at that, eh? Yeah. So I'm gonna take our little push fittings that we have for our wires to go through. I'm gonna shove them into the hole. We're gonna take our nut for the back side and thread that on. So now, I gotta bring some wires in. And I have a feeling you guys are gonna be in the way for this. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, you almost went off the van again. Okay, so now we have a red wire. Make sure you put this cap on before you start feeding it through. And then just push the red wire through and we're gonna feed it all the way, the whole 30 feet of cable. Okay, once that's through, Gonna take this, tighten it down over top. So now our cable, once we tighten it all down, will be fixed into place. There's no chance of it leaking. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing with the black cable. Tighten our end down, and our cable's in there. Nice, tight, and waterproof. So now we'll take our red wire, we'll push it down the first hole. We'll take our black wire, push it down to the exact same hole, and 
it ends up looking a little bit like that. So now we got fully grommeted, so we know it's not going to chafe along the edges of that. And that's our solar panels hooked in the vehicle. So we take our cap. And that, my friends, is our fully sealed box. So now for these wires, I'm gonna do the same thing I did underneath the panels, which is taking one of these little pads, stick it down in between here, then it comes with zip ties, which you just feed through. And we now have our cables nice and secure on top of the roof. And underneath, we have our wires that come down through the roof, all the way to the floor, because they're gonna plug straight into the solar controller which of course we're not setting up right now. We gotta wait till all this is built first. But that, my friends, is how we hooked up our solar panels in parallel with our own little custom junction box so we can run our wires down to the roof. So with that being said, if you haven't subscribed but you made it this far, I don't know, maybe consider doing so, no pressure. If you have subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, we, we will see you next Sunday. Perfect.